Give me your best Jimmy V story. The best Jimmy V story I could say, I was in high school. Mm-hmm. And um, we were playing in the Boston shootout up in Boston, big AAU tournament. And uh, I was on the Washington, D.C. AAU team. And then uh, we played against New York. And everybody in the country wanted to watch D.C. and New York, two of the top cities around. They wanted to see them play. We won a triple overtime game uh, at the Boston against New York. We come in, in the lobby and this crazy Italian guy, which happened to be Jim Valvano at the time, comes by and grabs me and Sidney Lowe and says, hey, man, I'm Jim Valvano from Iona College, man. I love you two guys. Won't you guys come play for me? So, you know, we just said, you know, we just kind of say, hey, coach, how you doing? And so it's like a joke. A year later, here he comes walking in the press conference. And I looked over to Sydney. I said, hey, that's that, that's that crazy coach that grabbed us a year ago talking about he owned a college. And he said, no, that's not – he doesn't own a college. That's I own a college. <laughs> and so that's, that's my first uh, story of Jimmy V and first encounter of him. I got so many of them. Some I can tell you and some I can't. But uh, uh, he was just – his, his, his personality was infectious. Mm-hmm. I mean, people just drew to this man. I, I just can't tell you how magnetic he was in terms of just reaching people. You can meet Jim Valvano one time and feel like he was a lifelong friend. That's, that's what kind of effect he had on you. He loved life. He loved people. And uh, I just think that I'm just so humbled and honored and privileged that I had an opportunity to work and play for Jim Balbano. 